What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Red. In the last part, we made it through routes 9 and 10. And in this part, uh, let's try to see if we can get through this, uh, next tunnel. So, uh, first of all, we got a trainer. So, uh, I've been to a Pokemon Gym a few times, but I never lost it each time. Well, I have three gym badges, so let's see how this fares out. And, uh, I wonder why you lost each gym badge. So, uh, basically the reason is you thought a Pikachu could beat Brock. So, yeah, that's already an L right there. A Pikachu would have beaten Misty, but, uh, I don't think it would have beaten Brock like that. So, it's maybe, uh, one of one of what gym leaders you would have beaten. It definitely would have beat You wouldn't have beaten Surge's Raichu with that, because... You, you can't rig it like Ash does in the anime. Okay, what's your other Pokemon right there? So, uh, uh what your other Pokemon is Clefairy. So, I, uh, yeah, Clefairy wouldn't have done well against really the first gym, and definitely not against, uh, Missy Starmie. And, uh, I wouldn't say it wouldn't fare well against, uh, Surge's Raichu either. So, uh, yeah, that maybe that's the fucking reason you lost each gym leader. So, uh, yeah, and we're level 31. Ah. Uh, Oh, I blew it again. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, I'm actually gonna put, go on the bicycle. So, uh... Anyway, so, it's gonna get pitch black in here. So, uh, we're gonna load the town map, and, uh, we're inside rock tunnels. So, uh... Luckily, though, because we have Flash... Blinding flashlights the area. So, the new Pokemon you can find here are Machop and Onyx. Again, I'm gonna cut out each unnecessary encounter and new Pokemon I will leave in the video. But, uh, this is, first of all, there's a trainer battle. So, uh, Pokemon fight, let ready go. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, none other than a, uh, this is gonna be a Pokemaniac. And, uh, Pokemaniacs and a Cubone. Cubone's a brand new Pokemon. We have not seen a Cubone yet, but, uh, in a few levels, Peach is gonna learn a Body Slam, which is gonna be a massive step up from, uh, Pound. So, uh, yeah, we definitely have that to look forward to, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, Growls is lowering our attack, so, uh, Cubone is a ground type, so, uh, it's using Bone Club, so, uh, didn't critical hit, though, but, uh, yeah, slow, but I'm gonna switch out, so, uh, let's send out Bowser, maybe just see if we can get him up a few more levels, because I think at level 30, he learns, uh, with Bra, so, uh, That'll be a nice move. Well, I don't think we're gonna learn that, though, but, uh... Yeah, Bite's not doing that much damage, though, because then... I don't even think... It's a, I think it's a physical move in Gen 1 and 2, so, uh... Not a special move, so, uh... Well, it's the physical move again in later Gens, but I think it's back to physical in Gen 1. So that's actually, uh... Get Tristan, we'll get Bowser up a few more levels, and, um... And Bowser level 29, that was a Geodude, so I cut it out of the video. Anyway, so, um... Hey, a new Pokemon! Yeah, this is a Machop. So, uh, this is the only place in the game, as to my knowledge, you can find Machop in the wild. Machop's alright, but again, you have to fully evolve it through trading, so I'm gonna say pass on this one, but, um... Plus, I think there's just better fighting types out there, but, uh... But anyway, another trainer fight. There's gonna be another Pokemon here. I draw Pokemon when I'm home. There's gonna be another Pokemaniac. I'd say we're generally about halfway through this game. So, uh... I think once we get out of Rock Tunnel, we, we've reached the halfway point. So, uh... And, uh, yeah. Uh, the only other thing I want to try, um... Slow po Actually, I tried Body Slam. Yeah, it's doing a lot more damage. So, uh... I forgot I already had Body Slam. So, uh... Yeah, like body, body slam for now on, but um, yeah, would be a Pokemaniac. Well, let's try to see if we can use one of our super potions, which I only have two left. But um, hey, another new Pokemon. Yeah, it's an Onix, and uh. I guess this is another great candidate for a good grinding spot because uh, if you face like Geodude and Onyx, they'll give like 200 XP each. So I don't think it's as good as Diglett's Cave, but it's still a really good spot to grind out and all that. 
One of the areas we're going to encounter a little bit later, I think, is a great candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the whole game. And so Junior Train was fighting. Junior Train sent out Oddish. Oof. Let's see if one Body Slam can take it out, but I'm not entirely sure if it's Oddish is more defensive. They didn't really take it out, but uh, it didn't actually paralyze us, so uh, it only did 13 damage. So yeah, this I think this thing should be a Gloom also, so... Uh, yeah, Bell's got Bulbasaur, so uh, I guess maybe 50-50 odds on that this will take it out. Didn't take it out. So uh, it used Growl, so uh, again, this should be an Ivysaur, so... And we have to be a Junior Trainer. Oh, I lost. Sounds like Peach and Marvel 3. Oh, I lost! Anyways, that was two wild encounters I had to cut out of the video, and they were both Zubats. We've already seen all the Pokemon you can find in Rock Tunnel, so, um... I used to be a full-on Repel Hog when it comes to Pokemon games, but I'm really not anymore because you get you do miss out on quite a bit of XP if you, you are a Repel Hog, but, um... I guess for playthrough purposes in the future, maybe I'll just use Repel. I don't know. I'm not really one that really... Oh, we're level 30! Oh, it's level 31 we learn, uh, Withdraw. So, uh, yeah, I got that mixed up, but, um... We're actually six levels away from evolving into a Blastoise, which, uh, will come eventually, so, uh... Okay, so eventually... That was a Zubat, so, um... That was actually a Machop, so let's just fight this hiker and, uh... My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Now, there's one hiker that says in this area I want to show the dialogue of. Hiker wants to fight, and Hiker sent up to you, dude. Level 25, so that should be a Graveler, so, uh... And, uh, well, that was all the, the only Pokemon I had, so, uh, I want to see if I can find the Hiker that gives the funnier dialogue. It's the, I think it's this one. Hit me with your best shot. So, yeah, they're kind of making a kind of a reference with this one. This, one, this guy is a Machop, but, um, I think we find our first Graveler in this rock tunnel, too. Not, I don't think it's this trainer, but, um... Anyway, so he's gonna send out an audit, actually. So, uh, I just want to see the dialogue when when we actually uh, defeat him. Oh yeah, here it is. He better defeat hiker. Fired away. Yeah, that is pretty much a Pat Benatar reference right there. The old the song "Hit Me with the Best Shot" by Pat Benatar, which um, I think it's a good song, but it's not really one I actively seek out. I mostly remember it from just Guitar Hero Three. If we're thinking, we're talking late se music in the late seventies. Like I have kind of bizarre like taste. Like I love fucking, I love fucking like Marky Moon by Television, which uh, it's uh, an album that kind of sounds like two thousands like garage rock, and it came out in the late seventies. So um, yeah, very ahead of its time. But um, And Bowser grew to level 31. Bowser's trying to learn Withdraw, but um, I don't think we're going to teach it Withdraw, personally. Actually, I'll just get rid of Water Gun, but I will get rid of Withdraw later. But um, I just need to get rid of Water Gun, because we don't need that at level 31. So anyway, Geodude. We're almost at a PP for uh, Bubble Bean, though, so... I might have to switch out also because Doodoo is also weak to ground, so might be in part ground, so. So yeah, Bowser is like five levels away from being a Blastoise, so it would be nice. If we chose Bulbasaur, like it would be like one level. I think would be like one level away from a Ball Vein. So you win. And uh oh another hiker. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. But we're actually, uh, I think, I think we're a good majority of the way out of the rock tunnel. So, uh, I can want to fight and I guess out on it. And go, Bowser.
Anyway, so, um... Bowser, uh, should be, almost be a level 32, come to think of it. He's a, he's, we've been, we've gotten him up, like, three, tw three straight levels in this area. Unfortunately, this might be the last time we use him, but, uh, so we might as well hope he gets a level up. He's gonna use Geodude. I think the next trainer flyer has a Graveler, so, uh... And, uh, no level up, unfortunately. But I think I'm actually gonna switch out Pokemon. So, uh, let's get Monimol up a couple levels. He's actually my lowest level right now. So, uh, let's get him up a couple levels. And, uh... Outsiders, like, you need to show me some respect. I always, like, I always find it weird with the random dialogue. Particularly in Gen 1, like, uh, in Stay Left Battle, it's like, uh... I lost my, it's like, it's like basically saying, like, I lost my wallet, let's battle, and like, um, kind of like that. It's like, uh, very random dialogue in Gen 1, but, uh, if it survives a dig, okay, thank god, but, um, I think his next Pokemon's actually a Graveler. That yeah, is a Graveler, so, uh, I've actually had it happen where I've used Dig, and, like, the Graveler uses Self-Destruct, but, um, it didn't right there, but, uh, I actually have had that happen before where just kills itself where uh where I'm just un dug underground but mine lost grew up to level 30 so uh if he had hiker I give anyway that was a geo dude so uh these are gonna be I don't think we're gonna face any more hikers in this area hikers leave twigs as trail markers so uh yeah And Junior Trainer wants to fight. Junior Trainer sent out Jigglypuff. Um, doesn't have very good... You've seen this from using our own Jigglypuff. We, doesn't have very good spe special defense, but I very well could survive a dig. So it didn't survive a dig, but... uh Fox has been nine levels ahead of this, but... um, Ooh, Pidgey. Um, let's switch to Peach. Anyway, so uh, let's use uh, let's use Pound. It's faster than us, so that's the unfo the unfortunate thing about Jigglypuff is that it's really slow. Even when it's evolved, even when it evolved, it isn't really much faster. So uh, and so uh, I guess I'll switch back to Doug Trio because uh, the problem is that Ground Attacks can't can't affect Pidgey. So uh, and that Pidgey should have been a Pidgeotto. So. I think there's going to be a trainer upcoming where that has a Pidgeotto, so, uh... Yeah, so around the point in the game where you're going to start seeing evolved Pokemon. And with you a junior trainer. I think there's a... Oh, there's, there isn't... You know what? Let's just run away from this battle because, you know, I don't want to race any PP. This is a Zubat, and... Yeah. We're in the hiker anyway, so uh, yeah, that would be an awkward cut right there. So I think it's the last hiker we see in this area. And uh, hiker wants to fight, and hiker sent out Geodude. I think I have a max ether that I can use. Oh! I love it. I've had it happen where you self-destruct when we're dug underground, but, um... I just love it when that happens, and, uh... Fine, he's using the grab. Like, come on, let's go for two, let's go for two, let's go for two, let's go for two! Come on, let's go for two! Oh, no, it's not... I, I think this thing might survive it, too. It didn't, but, uh, critical hit, though. And we defeated Hiker. I'm gonna use my max ether so I can use it, uh, so I can buy PV for bubbling, because we might need a uh, war troll for a couple more, uh. Yeah, so, uh, that's basically what the max ether does. I don't, I think I can skip that trainer. And here's another wild encounter. I'm just forgetting to count out the video because, uh, we're just, uh, running away. We have a couple more trainers left, so, uh, Eek, don't try anything funny in the dark. Well, we are, we're using Flash, so, uh... And Junior Trainer wants to fight, and Junior Trainer sent out Bellsprout. So, yeah, because of Gen 1 mechanics, we have an advantage, so, uh... 
This thing, I think, also should be a Weepin' Bell, because I think that's level that evolves. Yeah, Clefairy, so, uh... Clefairy's more defensive than Jigglypuff, so it's like a gamble whether or not this thing will survive it, which it didn't. And Monty Mall go to level 31. And we have a junior trainer, so I think that's the last level we can get it up, but, um... Let's see, um... I think I'm going to use Peach and open the next fight with a rest. We're almost out of this area, so yeah, Pokemon, let's start. Anyway, so Junior Trainer wants to fight, and Junior Trainer sent out Pidgey. And, uh, go Peach. So, um, yeah, uh... I probably should have used the rest, but, um, especially if you, it's using World World 1, so it doesn't affect work in Gen 1, in battles in Gen 1. Kind of a flawed mechanic right there, but, uh, yeah, let's try to see if we can use rest. Yeah, we're gonna use rest right there, and use our awakening. Anyway, so, uh, use our uh, awakening. We're gonna get an item that pretty much a, a little bit later that eliminates any need of awakenings in Gen 1. We're only a few, again, we're only a few levels away from learning Body Slam, so once we get that, it'll be a step up from Pound. I didn't even take it out, so, um... Anyway, so, uh, Radida, um... Go. So I use Pound. I, I don't want to give, like, boring commentary. Like, I've got a lot of entertaining commentary this video, so, uh... Like the, uh, self-destruct stuff, but, uh... I want to see if we can get to level 32 this fight. Ooh, um... Yeah, it's... This is the reason I bought a shitload of Awakenings. And I'll just I'll just save the Ando for this battle. And we're not up a level, so uh yeah, we're gonna have to um I'll check after I use the antidote, but how close are we to how close is Peach to up a level? I think there's one more trainer in this uh area. Yeah, 411, so let's just get her up a level. Anyway, so, um... Anyway, so that was a Zubat. That was also a Zubat in trainer time. I came this far for Pokemon, so yeah, I think you can actually find... have better odds of finding, like, Machop and Onix this deep in Rock Tunnel, but, um... Yeah, he's gonna have a... she's gonna have a level 20 Meowth, so... Meowth doesn't evolve until level 28, but per... If you have the blue version, uh, Persian is one of the best Pokemon in the game. A great candidate for it. And Peach is level 32. So, um, I have to stick with, uh... I don't think, we're not gonna get up to level, uh, Stun Spore. We're not gonna get this thing up to level 33. You know what? Let's just uh No, I'll use the uh I'll use the uh I'll use the paralyzed heal. The paralysis heal. Plus it's just it would have just absorbed us to death, so uh Oh nice! Yeah, this is my uh this is the first uh Gen 1 mess of this playthrough, which uh if you don't know what a Gen 1 mess is, um yeah, they're very con they can be very consequent. So in generation one, because of a programming bug, any move that's one hundred percent accurate has a one in two hundred and fifty six chance of missing. So uh yeah, this thing just keeps trying to poison us. So uh yeah, that's all because I got a gen one miss right there. It's because of a programming a bug in the coding, like it'll just register it as a miss. And it's very annoying when it happens. Um Especially, like, because in Gen 1, every move has... I'm gonna have to switch out. Yeah, it's just gonna keep using Poison Battle, so I'm just gonna switch out. Just 
stop trying to paralyze me. <laughs> all this is all because I got a Gen One mess, and I was wondering when it was gonna happen because normally in normal play, oh my god, normally in normal playthrough this happens a lot earlier. So uh, I don't think I've ever lasted this long on this fucking trainer. <laughs> Anyway, so Pidgey, uh, Bowser, it's your turn. I don't think I've ever lasted this long on this fucking trainer. Anyway, so we defeated Junior Trainer. I'm out of Pokemon. Anyway, so, uh, oh wait, I forgot that Jigglypuff was poison, so we have to kind of, almost, we're almost out of antidotes also, but, um, though fortunately... We are out of this, uh, area. And also, we get a Max Aether. So, uh, there are three more trainers, but we can skip them all, and I think I'm gonna off-screen them. So, uh, also, I might get off the bicycle. Because... Very iconic music right here. Yeah, so next time on Pokemon Red, we're going to see what's up in, if I can uh, load the Pokemon map, Lavender Town. See you guys then. I can't wait.